Hi everyone, Linda here. Our challenge this week at this month at Lessology is bubble wrap. And I'm going to use my bubble wrap as to to create a background. So I just have a piece of cardstock here and this is Aqua Breeze um, which is Raisin Boats Boathouse collection. So I just ink that up and I'm just going to go down like this. And there you go. And I like this because it really looks kind of, um, and you can see through it too, which is kind of cool. Looks kind of like the sea. <laughs> so there you have it. I have a nice piece of background paper now that I created with just a piece of old um, bubble wrap. Now I'm going to make this into a card. Okay, so what I decided to do is use this purple base. This is um, Forget Me Not, Raisin Boats Forget Me Not. And then this, like a lavender, um, it's called Lavender Bloom. And then this layer that I put the bubbles on and I punched out like a little rug. And then I'm going to put uh, this little bathtub on here. But first what I want to do is I want to I want to stamp this corner to look like this. And when I did a stamped it on a scrap piece so that this will go in the corner. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to ink this uh, stamp. And this is from this Raisin Boat Splash stamp set. And I'm inking this up with Lulu Lavender. I have it upside down. Lulu Lavender Memento ink. And I really want to get that on there good. And then I'm going to line it up with the corner if I can. And I know I'm doing this upside down, but this helps me to see it better. Okay. Because I'm going to cut out just that outside part there. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start in the center. I really could have punched a hole in there. That's a good idea because if I punch the hole in there, then at least I have those pieces <laughs> that I can use for other projects. Okay, so I want to make sure I don't go over here too far like this. And I want to cut up to about here. And then I'm going to fussy cut ar across here. Now I could have just used another piece of paper and layered it on top, but actually I'm out of this color. <laughs> so I want to make use of it. And then this piece I can stamp on, like I said, and use it for other, like buttons and things like that. So I hope I'm in camera. So I'm just kind of fussy cutting. And the trick with fussy cutting, like I used to tell my first graders, is one hand cuts, the other hand turns. And always keep your scissors pointed to the sky. I know that's always easier said than done. I want to see how this is going to fit. And see, I want it to go over further, so I need to cut. Oh, I did cut there. need to cut it just a little bit more this way. Straighter. There we go. So then I'm just going to layer that on top of here. And I have my bubble wrap background. And then I made this adorable little bathtub using my Cricut um, Children Every Day. Every Day paper dolls every day, something like that. And I'm going to put that on here. And this, I put some more bubble wrap, one that I um, inked up with some white frost. All right, so I need to get these all glued together. There, I've used the bubble wrap, and this isn't attached either. I've used the bubble wrap as bubbles here, the bubble wrap as background there. And I'm just gonna, well, let me see, do I wanna pop this up? 
No, because this is dimensional, it's probably not a good idea to pop that up. And I'm just going to put some adhesive there. Put this on here. And then I want to put um, a message there. Okay, so this piece of paper that was, um, I think this was the scrap that I cut out. Um, what I'm going to do is take and make a background with the bubble wrap again. And I'm just going to take a piece and put it on my block. And I just put a little tape on there and that can come off with that old gooby gone or something like that. And I'm just going to stamp this scrap piece. And this I'm using this um, Lulu Lavender again, the lighter one. And then I'm going to try and take this um, grape jelly memento and I'm going to use a stamp from Stamping Up that says enjoy the little things in life and we'll see how this will work. I just wanted to have a little bit of a background on there and then I'm going to take the Stamping Up punch and punch this out like this and I have to always edge it. I'm just that way. So I'm just going to take the, I have some a dried up wet one and I'm just going to lightly go around the edges with that. I just think by doing that it makes the, you can see the pattern of the scallop edges better. Okay, so that is going to go right here. And that is going to be my card and my entry for bubble wrap. So we have bubble wrap background here, bubble wrap background here, and a little bit of bubble wrap right there to make the bubbles on the card. So then I went back and it's not quite dry yet but I put stickles all around the swirls here and a little bit around the sentiment and then around each one of the bubbles and on the feet. So I continued to play. So there you go. I hope you like it and I hope you'll join our bubble wrap challenge at Lessology this month. Have a great day. Bye-bye.